Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm actually going to tack this, uh, this purchasing session onto the beginning of the next video. Um, I found that after I hit continue, I needed to sort of get through this purchasing before I could save the game. Um, so we'll throw this on the beginning and then we'll start the normal episode after this. Um, so we just got through uh, the last mission. We're about to go look for the Horn of Quintus. Uh, looks like we start with a rope arrow, eight rope arrows. Hopefully it lets me climb something. That's pretty cool. We start with three holy water. Uh, the blackjack, the sword, the normal stuff, three healing potions, a few water arrows. So, holy water to me... Oh, it tells me here now. Great. This vial of hammer sanctified liquid is potent protection against the undead when used on your water arrows. Oh, so I use it, it coats a water arrow, and then I can attack, maybe. Um, what do I have? 1250. It seems like the holy water is very important. So I'm going to buy all of those. Uh, noisemaker arrows would be good against um, people, but not necessarily zombies. Um, healing potions three. If I can't kill enough zombies, I might need more. So I'm going to pick at least one more of those up. One more rope arrow, and I can't do a healing potion. Two more rope arrows, I guess. Uh, no, I don't like that. I need to at least have one noisemaker, I think. Um, and I'll fill the rest in with water arrows. I don't know how many holy waters, like how many water arrows get affected by how many uh, holy waters or whatever. So um, I'm going to play mission. I'm going to save it as soon as I get into the mission, and then uh, we'll start the normal episode next time uh, as usual. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Thief Gold. I'm Ketch, thank you for joining me. Um, you should have seen the uh, intro session where uh, I did do some purchasing at the end of my last recording session. Um, we needed to buy our stuff and get into the mission before I could actually save uh, to end my session. Um, what we did, I wonder if I can cycle through my inventory here. Um, we have some healing potions, uh, bought as much holy water as we could, and... If we look at our arrows, we have one noisemaker, a um, couple of rope arrows, which I didn't um, pay too much attention to when I was buying them before, but I looked back through the video and I saw that uh, these basically, I shoot them out and it makes a rope um, sort of bridge that I can hang from. So keep our eyes out for a place where we could use that. Um, and we've got our blackjack, but I'm really excited for this session because we are exploring a brand new area. Let's take a look at our objectives. So we are finally where the Horn of Quintus should be. We've got the notes, we've got the map. So we are here to find the Horn of Quintus. We are here to rob the dead. Um, we need a thousand total loot. Steal the gemstone, the mystic's soul. Um, and once we have what we have, what we came for, come back to the surface. Um, I didn't have an option to buy any tips like last mission, uh, so this gemstone, we're just going to have to really look around uh, and try and find it. Let's take a look at the map. So we are starting here, going down into some sort of crypt, some tomb, right? Upper vaults. This is where the... Are these where people are entombed? Or are these actually merchants and noble houses? Probably inaccessible. Halls of echoing repose. So, you know, that's going to be a noisy area, I'm assuming. So the Morao the Morao family and the Quintus family. Question mark, question mark. Okay. So, we're heading right there. Let's give it a shot. This guy will probably wake up if we get close to him, so I'm just going to uh sneak past. I see no reason to actually alert him. We can avoid it. Actually, can I get up here? No. Because I see, uh... I wonder if there's something up there, or some way to, to access that. At a later time. Can I... Yes, I can. So I have to, like, use the, the ropes and stuff. But, uh, that was from way back in the tutorial. I don't quite have those skills down, haven't actually used them since since that tutorial, right? Alright, where do we end up now? 
upper vaults south. Okay, cool. So long way down. Way down. Yeah, let's not just drop. Get some zombies right down here. Oh yeah! Wow, it is actually <laughs> pretty far down there. Got a broken sword. Um, we could try out the holy water. The holy water is, in theory, for killing the undead. Uh, haven't figured it out yet. I assume I have to use it, and it'll apply to my water arrow. Will it apply for just one shot? I've not. I've got no idea. This place is nuts. So, hmm. the rope arrow says I have to shoot it at uh, a wooden surface in order to get it to stick. I'm wondering if I can shoot it like here. Um, I don't really want to waste it, but you know, you got to find out sometime, right? Okay. I guess I should have put it a bit closer because now I have to jump out to that. Um, that's okay. Good to know that that works. So, might as well try this other piece here too. Let's get the holy water out. So I have 30 seconds of holy water arrow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I think I glitched a little bit, but that was freaking awesome. <laughs> So, okay, so I apply the holy water. Any water arrows that I have are now considered holy water arrows for 30 seconds. Um, extremely powerful. Fortunately, I don't have more things to, uh, to kill. Can I pick up the sword? No. <clears throat> anything in the barrels? Nothing that I can do anything with. So where did I end up with? Where did I end up at here? Um, still in the upper vaults, okay. Wasn't sure if I would have gone down to the lower vaults or... Oh, that's interesting. Check that out. Can I open you up? Oh. Well, that was... Uh, I don't want to say a waste, because I, I learned, you know, I've learned about the rope rare, I learned about the holy water, but, you know. Didn't really need to do any of that. Didn't even need to go down there. Just needed to not fall, really. And... That is... It's really cool. This place is freaky, man. <laughs> What's over this way? Just... No, this one goes up over. Oh. Hello. What, what happened here, pal? We got a little bag of loot here? Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can learn about our friend here. I've had enough. If Felix want to, wants to stay and be killed, that's his business. But the pay is not good enough to keep me down here a minute more. We already lost Dranko to those damn belching burricks. And Mercus didn't make the jump across that huge chasm. He probably drowned if he wasn't dashed to bits. I thought about looking for his body as he was carrying some loot from a poorly guarded tomb. But it wasn't worth the risk. Then we watched Cather get filled with arrows from a clever trap in one of those great octagonal vaults. Not that I cared one whit for Cather, the bastard, but I have no intention of ending up the same way. Is there a page? Oh yeah. I don't expect I'll see Felix again. He seemed sure that the Horn of Quintus was somewhere north of the vaults, but I think that was just a guess. And if the traps and zombies don't get him, the Burricks will. Those tunnels were a nightmare. At least our marks were mostly still intact. I'm almost out, but I need to sleep. I think the place I found is out of the way enough that zombies won't find me. So uh, this poor guy tried to take a rest, and the zombies got him. We learned a lot from this letter. Okay. First thing, um, there was a group of people down here, and a lot of them were dropping like flies. There's a huge chasm where Marcus fell. He's got a, a bunch of loot, um, so maybe we can shoot an arrow and, and drop down there and go find him. Um, the other thing is the octagonal vaults, which I saw on our map. There's traps inside, so we need to be careful and, and pay attention to what's going on in there. And the last one is to the north. Oh, the marks. No, no, no. The marks 
are mostly still intact. So if I look on the walls when I'm in the tunnels, I might see marks that tell me what direction um, to possibly go. What is this? Just a bedroll. Okay. This room was awesome to find, actually, just due to the uh, the information we got from it. It was really cool. I kind of want to go down here, but I don't know if I'll be able to get back up. We'll see. We'll see what's over this way first. Might loop down to there anyway. I think it does. Yeah, okay. Do I want to be up there? Uh, no, wait, that's just, where I, <laughs> that's just where I just was. Is there anything above that? There's some... There is... Can I... Oh, I don't even think I, it's... Uh, I need to, to land it somewhere else. I don't think I can grab it. It's a bummer. Total waste, then. Um, hmm. What's this way? Oh, okay. So this is just above that other room. Alright, okay. Learning a little bit. This is a pretty interestingly set up place, you know. A lot of the places feel like we're sort of one and done uh, rooms, but this is much more unique. What do we have over here? Let's just get the sword out, I guess. If we're fighting zombies, I don't want to be messing around with the uh, cudgel. Oh, extra holy water? Maybe? Oh, that's cool. So I can actually come, if I know that there's something to kill, which I wonder if there is anything to kill over here, I can come activate that font of water. And possibly, let's see. Let's see what we run into. Where are we now? We are in the north upper vaults now, okay. I'm I'm guessing this guy is gonna come alive. And I'm gonna need to uh to get him with the let's test him. Huh? Well, not so much. One more for good measure. Okay. So that's a way down. <clears throat> oh, he is. Okay. I thought as much. So we'll go with the uh, the free holy water that's back here. Rather than using our arrows. We've got 30 seconds to take this guy out. Where is he? There he is. Come on. And so it looks like it's just about two always. Glad I got the extra water arrows. Okay. Now seeing that is making me wonder, did I miss stuff other places? Just got an extra health potion, got some extra loot. Hmm. Good time to save. And is this a trap? Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if those holes were there before. I didn't see them. Um, but these are very obviously trigger plates. And they certainly do a good job of messing me up. So I'm going to use that healing potion uh, we just got. Unfortunately, but that's alright. Heal me up a bit over time. And I did see that my health bar was like almost all the way to my, uh, my sneak bar. So if that doesn't fill up the whole way, I'll consider using another one. I think we're kind of just looking to... Hmm... Merchants and Noble House. See, I don't have objectives that take me over there since we're not on Expert. But... I can see there being a way to get over there. Let's see, so that was the, uh, the healing font. Before we go down that rope ladder, which I assume is sort of the way we need to go, we'll come back here and uh, 
see if we can't get over to those merchants. Um, certainly not in this direction. What is this? Alaris? Huh. I don't know what that is. Okay. Well, I'm not going that way. I'm not going back up there. So, uh, down the rope it is. Down the rope it is. I feel a lot more capable coming into this mission than I did the last one. Um, feel like we stumbled around a little bit in that last one, but uh, we certainly came out on the other side with a lot more knowledge of how the game works. Ah. I, what do I need? What am I missing on these? Yeah, you should be able to just jump onto it, but I don't know. I wasn't being aggressive enough with jumping onto it. 